Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys tuning in for today's video. Guys, I'm gonna share with you a long held secret color for jerk baits and crank baits, specifically in the summer months that um, you guys are definitely gonna to wanna to try out. This is something that sort of been under the radar for about, oh, probably seven or eight years now. It's got a sort of a cult following under certain conditions, not a real common color but it is one that's available that most people just don't use. So we're gonna go over that and give you guys some good tips and advice on when to catch fish on it. Oh, real quick guys, just our daily reminder, just wanted to remind you if you guys are struggling to catch fish in the summertime on some of your favorite lakes, I'd invite you to please swing by fishthemoment.com and check out our lake map breakdowns. Um, I'll put the link in the description of this video. Um, we got our summer maps uh, up on the website right now. Um, get a bunch of them for most all the major and even some of the other lakes across the country. And if one of the lakes you fish is not on uh, our website, you can book a virtual lesson with me to go over some good summer patterns and areas. So um, I'll put the link in the description for that. Much appreciated. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you right off the bat what it is. There's a handful of people that know about this, but most people don't. And it's a, de it's a deadly, deadly color under certain conditions, uh, appropriately named. It's called the deadly, ba deadly black shad color. This is a mega bass color, um, it's one of their core colors here. I've been using it for many years. Um, it comes in a lot of different uh, hard baits that they make, crank baits, jerk baits. But basically it's sort of a met metallic finish, shiny, dark, uh, it's not really solid black, but it's called deadly black shad. And guys, under certain conditions, this thing is freaking deadly. And that's what I wanna talk about today uh, in the video when to use this. Now, first of all, this bait sort of got a, it got a cult following at Lake of the Ozarks. Um, about 10 years ago when it first came out, the deadly black shad jerk bait was, everybody used it. That's just, that's just what the, 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 if you were in the know on jerk bait fishing at Lake of the Ozarks, the deadly black shad is what you had there. And then it expanded out to the S crank where I started using the S crank and the deadly black shad in sort of similar conditions a little bit. First of all, let's talk a little bit about the conditions. Everything around the deadly black shad is, it's uh, centered around a combination of water clarity and water temperature. And there's a window of which that water clarity and water temperature works really good. Um, I'm not sure, really sure why, that's just one of the mysterious variables about bass fishing. But one of the things you'll notice about the nuances and subtleties about bass fishing certain colors work better under certain combinations of water clarity and uh, water temperatures. So the key on the deadly black shad is you've got to have a stain in the water, but it has to be the right type of stain as far as the amount of visibility in it. The deadly black shad is going to work best in anywhere between water visibilities of about probably 12 inches at the minimum to the most two and a half feet. So about a foot to two and a half feet. You got about a foot and a half visibility window where this thing works good. Now, I'm not saying that you could not get bit in any of the conditions, but by far, that is the scenario when it works best. If you had to, if you had to tell me, Randy, what's the best scenario for deadly black shad, I would put in there about, I would say a foot and a half to two foot of visibility. You know, 15 to 18 inches is ideal and you have to have a combination of either cold water or really hot water, sort of a paradox in between there, um, which is, again, another one of those mysteries. And then on top of that, you need some type of lower light condition. So when you have, let's talk about the two different type of uh, paradoxes here. In the winter time, if you have the conditions where you have, like I said, that foot and a half to two foot of visibility, you got water temperatures, you know, anywhere between 45 to 55 degrees. And then you have some type of a low light condition, which would be like cloudy skies. <coughs> Excuse me, there's probably not a better color than the deadly black shad jerk bait under those situations. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, and one of the reasons I wanted to do the video on this is it works the same in hot water. When you have water visibilities in that same range, in that foot and a half to two foot of visibility, but you have water temperatures that are at their maximum. The water temperatures in whatever lake you're fishing, when it's the hottest out there, that is when the deadly black shadow is gonna work really good too, 
under those same conditions, under the, you know, the, the darker cloudy conditions, which are a minimal in the summertime, because obviously in the summer, you don't get near as many cloudy type days as you do in the wintertime. But I'm telling you guys right now, if you like the square bill crank or fish a square bill crankbait, and you get one of those days in July, August, or September where a front comes in or something, and it's raining or it's cloudy, you got water visibility in that foot and a half to two foot range, and it's hot water, put you on a deadly black shad and see what happens if you've been catching them. Uh, I don't care if you're catching them on shad patterns before or black and chartreuse or whatever, they will bite this thing right here. Another scenario where this works really good, and I'm not really sure, again, what the deal is, is over grass when you're talking about a jerk bait or a crank bait or even a lipless crank bait. Some of the biggest strings of bass I've ever caught on a jerk bait have come over grass lakes in the colder water on a deadly black shad under those scenarios. Um, I've caught big strings at Sam Rayburn. I've caught big strings at Lake, uh, uh, Lake Gunnersville on it. Um, anywhere that you have a Toledo bend, anywhere that you have grass that will fall in that type of scenario. Now, if you do have a really dark day, say for example, if it's, if it's not only cloudy, but it's raining and windy, it will work in cleaner water. And because that low light conditions will, you know, again, allow that to sort of compensate for the little bit clear water. So if you have a lake that has water visibilities sort of pushing four foot in clarity, and you get a cloudy, windy day, that's when the deadly black shadow work really good. But anyway, guys, I'll put the Baitworks link in the description. Uh, you got, Baitworks has got a big selection of all Mega Bass products. Use that link, it's a good way to support the channel. Just get you a few of the deadly black shad colors and see what I'm talking about. It's probably, there's a bunch of guys watching this say, God dang it, I can't believe Randy's talking about that freaking deadly black shad right now. So uh, it's just a, another one. It's another situational, guys. It's like, any other bait or color in bass fishing, it's not a magic pill, but there are situations where it is the best color that you can use. And that's sort of uh, what you need to look for there. So thanks for tuning in, we'll talk later.